guess who it is? It's it's me. It's me, Becca. So this video is kind of more of like a beauty product video. So I, if I have, you know, my guy friends who are going to watch this, it'll probably not be as much interest. But I do want to encourage you that you can always learn something. It's always interesting to see something different, even if it's makeup that, you, you know, you're not going to wear. It might be helpful for like a girlfriend or your wife or something to kind of learn and know about makeup or hair products and stuff. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Um, there are actually certain websites um, that you can order a subscription um, monthly or yearly depending on what you want to do. Um, they're actually beauty boxes is what they are called. So I have three different beauty boxes that I get to open today. Basically they have about five samples of makeup products, hair products, um, anything cosmetic related and um, since I am a beauty noob this is right down my alley and I have just been really excited to um, get these. This month is especially special because it is July and July uh, at the end of July is my birthday so these are kind of like my birthday presents. Isn't it great? It's my birthday present to me. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so it should be fun. So last month, um, I really, really liked uh, probably the best bat beauty bag is um, this one, which is by Ipsy. And um, it's called the Glam Bag. And they really um, focused on makeup products. It's like a little makeup bag and stuff. I really enjoyed this one. And then second, I enjoyed the Birch Box. And this one was just uh, just a really fun uh, different products that were in this one. And then lastly, I was not impressed by the Beauty Box 5. They just gave kind of like really small samples and stuff that I probably wouldn't really use. So we'll start with the least to the best. So um, from what I understand, the Beauty Box 5 does more like natural stuff. So, which I noticed in the last one. So this one might not be um, as much for me. I'm going to try it out again, obviously, right now and then see if I want to continue it. So let's see. So when you open it, it looks like this. They usually have a paper of some sort. Oh, a coupon. Coupons. The first thing I see is a little packet of antibacterial wipes. It's LA Fresh Travel Light. I like it because it's blue. Keeps hands clean and healthy. We will have to try them. I'm a bit of a germaphobic. Okay, I'm not I'm not a real germaphobic, but I am like slightly like aware of when my hands are dirty and I just feel like I need to wash them. So I can carry this around my purse and see how they work. The second thing I see is oh my gosh! Nail polish remover wipes! Can you see them? They look really fun and suitable for natural and artificial nails. I've never actually tried a wet wipe to remove my nail polish, so this should be pretty interesting. And, oh, a foot smoother. Can you see what this looks like? It's pink. Pink's okay. So it says, easily conforms to foot. It really looks like just a really harsh sponge. Like, interesting. My mom is all about making sure your heels and your feet are clean, so I should probably try this out. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's a hydrating treatment. This is the, the H2O brand. If you can see that, it's H2O Plus, I think is how you say it. I actually, for Christmas, bought my mom like a full-size tube of this because she was into feet stuff. Um, and so that's funny that they would put this in this. I actually know about this brand. And finally, a makeup product. It says lip gloss. This is a Be A Bombshell brand. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, it's called All Dolled Up. Let's open it and see what it looks like. Oh my, that's a pretty color. I think it's a pretty color. I'm um, really particular about my lip glosses. I actually, I mean, have never really liked any kind of lip gloss because I just don't like having that on my lip. It's like sticky and I feel it and it's generally not like smooth and like chapstick, you know. I would just prefer chapstick. So we'll have to see if this is really sticky because if it's really sticky, I won't like it. Doesn't smell like much. 
So, Beautybox 5 did a much better job this time around. I'm actually really stoked just about everything that I got in this box. Presents! <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys this really quick. It basically is a card and tells you a little bit about every like product that was in the box. So, it should be interesting to read. Alright, so up next is the Birch Box, which is just a little pink box like this. Pretty simple. So when you open it, it has another box inside. Oh, it's pretty difficult. So, and this one, it's, I guess the theme of the box is called Power Play. So it comes wrapped all in like pretty pink tissue paper and has this um, card on it, kind of explaining the theme and stuff. Let us see, let us see. Oh, hmm. So it has a little like interesting like scratch and score coin, uh, card that has like little scratchers on it and um, looks like it's just kind of like a bonus thing for the actual Birch Box website. So this is a face cream, G1 Boys and Girls Regulating Moisturizing Mattifying. Hmm, I like mattifying stuff. So this is what it looks like. It's really small, sample, basic black and white. And then from that same brand, I think, I'm assuming because it's the same color and stuff, is a hair care product super comb prep and protect I think it's basically kind of like a detangler kind of spray so it looks kind of like this and in the directions it says to spray evenly and comb through wet hair and style as normal so that actually would be kind of fun to try I don't um, use anything like this normally so it would be cool to see um, if I actually like it girl meets pearl liquid pearl for face what? Golden pink liquid pearl. I've never heard of this. Pat lightly over makeup for soft pearl lessons wear. I like matte things, not things that are going to make me look shiny. So this is interesting. Hmm. So the box looks like this, if you can see. It's actually kind of pretty. It has like a skinny cityscape and stuff. I like that. And it comes in like a little tube like this. Liquid pearl for face. Never heard of that before. I don't want to see what it looks like. Oh! Oops. I would do that. Hmm. So it looks like that. So it is actually like a pinkish color. And there's a the trash man. Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously, it's so hot here. <laughs> okay. And then lastly, they have like this little green pouch. Um, I think it's Tibby or Tybee. Do you guys know how to say that? But basically they just wrote that um, they're the favorite, um, fashion favorite because they created and designed an exclusive pouch for Birchbox. You can buy it on the Birchbox site. It doesn't come in this. Um, what comes in it is a couple other samples. Hmm. It's a couple of bobby pins. They look really different. So it's like green and white. It's like white with little patterns on it. These would be fun to try. And then, oh, oh cool, and then they have 100% um, Pure, I believe, it, yeah, 100% Pure is the brand, and they gave like three little pouches of Coconut Nourishing Body Cream. Looks like this, coconut. I actually don't like coconut flavored things or anything with coconut in it, but I've heard how good for you it is, whether it's for your body and your hair, um, anything that coconut oil is really natural and really good for you. So if it doesn't smell like I can't handle it, um, I'd be interested to see like how well this really like nourishes and like moisturizes your body. And then um, lastly in the birch box it just has some kind of like advertisement for their website and stuff like that. So that is all for that one. Wow, I'm actually more impressed with the Beauty Box 5 this month than I am the birch box. Alrighty, and last but not least, it's the shiny one. I'm always stoked about this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was stoked with it before I got it, and I'm even more stoked since I've gotten it. This theme is Beach Beauty, and this um, beauty box, um, and they give you your normal card with all of the brands and stuff, and, oh, it comes in this really cute makeup bag. It's like pink and shiny. <gasps> I love this. This is so cute. So I pulled out this California Collection BH Cosmetics. 
Oh, it's an eyeshadow sample. Cool. So it looks like this. Really beachy. Definitely looks really beachy. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to see what the colors are in this one. And then, nail polish. They call it, this one and this one, they call it nail liqueur. It's just a fancy word for nail polish. It says, wear, uh, I think it's nail teeny liqueurs alone, layered or garnished to create countless combinations. Great straight or mixed, it's cocktails for nails. I have not had a cocktail yet. But it sounds fancy. This is what it looks like. It looks fancy. So let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Look at that color. Wow, that's a really big sample. This is, like, this is not a sample. This is like a full size. It has to be. Oh, it's a Mai Tai. <laughs> that is so funny. It's funny because a year ago I turned 21 and the first drink that I had was Mai Tai. A tropical Mai Tai and it was kind of this color too. That's too funny! I will probably try this. I don't have an orange color nail polish yet so I'm stoked about this. And um, Okay, I gotta pull this out because I just see it. <laughs> it's a weatherproof hairspray by Big Sexy Hair. It's in a cute little red bottle. I've seen the full size of this one so. I see this all over the place and I've heard that it actually is like really legit and really good. When I first heard about it I thought it was just like some kind of cheesy brand like oh gosh like yeah. You Really gonna give you a big sexy hair. Oh, there's a trash man again. But I have actually read really good reviews and that they use this at salons and I've seen it at salons and stuff. So it'll be interesting um, to see how it works, especially since my hair generally it's really frizzy and really poofy, and this is humidity resistant spray. So that'll be interesting to try. I see two more things. Oh, where have I seen this? Um, this is a pop, a pouty pop crayon in Coral Crush. That's a very bright color. It'll be interesting to try. Like I said, I don't like lip glosses, so maybe I'll prefer a lip crayon. And finally, a mineral sunscreen, unscented organic sun care. Kula, I think is the brand. And it's shiny. See how it's shiny. So I think that is everything. Yay! Presents! I I love getting like little things like this. It's just really fun. <laughs> so it's a little bit different opening in front of a camera and kind of talking to people that aren't really here but I know are going to watch it. So I'm kind of like trying to talk to you when you do watch it. Uh, it it's just a whole new experience to me for it for you know in general so um, if I seemed awkward I'm sorry. I'm, it, it is weird talking to a camera. I, I mean hoping that someone will watch it. So yeah, um, these beauty boxes are generally like $10 a month, around there. Um, I'm going to link the uh, websites below that I got these three specific ones. Um, in last month's Birch Box, I actually got a sample of a shampoo. Um, it's by Divines, and I think you can only get it on the Birch Box website. I tried to look at it um, at different websites and stuff like that, but I didn't see it. I think it's just they sell it at, on their online store. Um, but anyway, the, the name of the type of shampoo is called Love, and it's lovely smoothing shampoo with Indian fig extract dry, for dry and frizzy hair. So it's really simple, basically looks like this. Um, the color of the shampoo is kind of like a pink, really, really light pale pink color. So when I got this in my birch box last month, I was like really stoked because I actually am like kind of in a shampoo dilemma right now. Um, I Because... My hair is really thick. Um, it's not like super frizzy, but it's w really wiry. So um, I've just been trying to find a shampoo that would really work for my hair. Um, I used to use Pantene, and then I went to a salon, and the stylist was like, don't use Pantene. I was like, okay. So she recommended to me a, a Paul Mitchell shampoo, which I've heard of Paul Mitchell before, so I, I know about the shampoo. Um, but she gave me the moisture one. So I used that up and it worked pretty good, definitely better than the Pantene, but I wasn't really like impressed with it. I was like, I gotta keep buying this, you know? So when I got this and I used it, I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm not kidding you, it was like, I mean, it wasn't amazing as much as it was just, it worked. It really worked for my hair. So it's in my hair right now and generally by this time, because I washed it um, later this morning, um, it would be like, I mean, 
probably out to here, really. Um, really puffy, really, I mean, like, it just d generally doesn't look very nice when it's like that. So this is air dried with a little bit of um, product in it. But other than that, what really tames it is the Divine Shampoo. And I bought their conditioner as well. I was just really, really impressed by it. I do have to say that when I first got it, that my scalp was pretty itchy for at least the first week and a half or so, maybe two weeks. And I was like, you know, I don't know if it's because it's more humid or because of my shampoo. And <laughs> funny thing is my mom actually said, hey, why don't you, you know, try to like, are you rinsing it out good enough? And I was like, yeah, I rinse it out, you know. And, but I, I, I like really rinsed it out after she told me that. And I think that that helped a lot more. My hair is just so thick, it is like layers of hair, so for me to really make sure that this really thick shampoo gets out of my hair, I actually do have to concentrate on making sure that it gets rinsed out. But my scalp's not itchy like at all anymore, um, so I think either my hair had to adjust to the shampoo, um, I need to rinse it out a little bit more, I'm not sure. Shows how much of a noob I am though. <laughs> So anyway, just wanted to testify that these beauty products, if you're our beauty sample boxes, are really cool if you're looking for things you're not sure about. It, it's worth it to me, um, at least right now in the stage where I am, where I'm trying to figure out different brands and stuff. So. so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like watching unboxings because, especially with the beauty products, you fill out a questionnaire and they kind of like give you products that's more what your style is, what your face is, your hair, everything. So it's always different for each unboxing. So I hope that this video was helpful in some way and that it was kind of fun. I had fun, for sure. I love opening presents. <laughs> so I hope that I'll be coming out with some new videos soon. Thanks for spending time with me.